My name is Casper Johansson, and I'm your YouTube philosopher. Welcome to this little video about horror movies and ethics. <laughs> Be warned, this video here is not for the faint at heart. There will be clips from horror movies up here that are bloody and violent and it's not for all. So be warned that this can get a little messy. Usually one don't think of a, a, a horror movie as uh, an ethical, moral movie. We usually think of uh, something like Disney or, or, or movies like that that have a moral message of some sort. But actually, horror movies are the most moral movies of all. In fact, they are a kind of overly moral. Especially one type of genre of the horror movies is uh, this uh, moral horror movie and that is the slasher movie. The slasher movies are movies like A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the, the 13th series and Halloween and the Saw movies which they made seven of, of them and actually the Saw movies are the most moral of all these slasher movies, but, but I will get to that uh, later on. Most slasher movies are built up in this way that uh, a lot of teenagers are being stalked and hunted by a, a lone killer, a slasher killer, who kills them off one by one until there's most of the time only one left, maybe two or three, but mostly one left that survives and kill uh, the killer. That's the, that's the general uh, outline of these slasher movies. Uh, let's look at the victims of these uh, slasher movies. Who dies and who survives? And that has to do with this over, overly moral thing that's in these slasher movies, because who dies? Well, they're all teenagers. We view the teenager as somebody who uh, goes through a lot of uh, uh, development. They grow into an adult and they learn who they are and who they should be. Uh, they learn right from wrong, good from evil. And they s sort of find what characters they will be in the rest of their life. Will they be a morally good person or will they be a morally perverted uh, person? If you uh, misbehave in one way or another, for instance, uh, you, uh, you do drugs, you will die in the slasher movie. The horrifying killer like Freddy and Jason and uh, Mike Myers from these slasher movies. Uh, they will get to you. If you misbehave, they will kill you. So that's the thing. If you do drugs, for instance, in a horror movie, you die. You can watch a horror movie, a slasher movie like this, and see this guy, he dies because he smokes pot, he, uh, he uh, sniffs cocaine or whatever. So he dies. If you have sex in a slasher movie, especially before you're married or before you're ready, you die. So that's also the thing in these uh, slasher movies. You should wait until marriage or till you're at the a right time in your life to have sex. And that's <laughs> even if you drink a lot of alcohol and other. The, the, the drunk clown who tries to, uh, to get a girl interested in him and he gets himself drunk and, and, and kind of acts like a clown, he dies. And that's the whole thing. It's even a, 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 an extreme uh, Christian morals that's like in these slasher movies because the virgin always lives.
if you, you're a virgin, you live. And let's look at the, the, the hero of the slasher movie, that one that survives and ends up killing the slasher man, like uh, Freddy Krueger. She's mostly, I say she, because she's mostly a girl, because we attribute in our culture guys, male guys, as uh, that we have some horrible things in us and we uh, have tendencies toward violence and, and uh, horrific things and we just want to get in the ladies' pants. The girl in the slasher movie is viewed differently than guys usually because culturally in our cultural history we have viewed the girl as innocent. She's pure innocence or she has the potentiality to be pure innocence. Uh, and that's the whole Virgin Mary thing going on in slasher movies. Uh, the virtue uh, virgin. That's the one that survives. But also in the slasher movie you have uh, Mary Magdalene, uh, the hooker. You have the, the whole thing with the Virgin Mary and the hooker, the, the prostitute, and the girl in the slasher movie who has sex with maybe two or three guys, she dies because she mirrors in a bad way the, the virgin who survives the slasher movie. So there are really Puritan Christian ideals going on in these slasher movies. Like this, uh, let, let's take uh, an example, look here, this is a uh, Jason Warhees, he, who slashes teenagers in uh, the Friday the 13th series. And that's, that's also something overtly about sex as a bad thing in this movie, because it's... <laughs> Freddy Krueger has the hands with knives sticking you. And uh, usually Freddy Krueger, uh, Jason Warhees, he comes with you with a big match, machete. A big knife to stick you. So there's some sort of a sexual correlation with this, as and it happens at night and it's teenagers. So there's this whole thing that that if you that you have loss of innocence when you have sex, and that's what happens when these teenagers gets together in these slasher movies and. Jason Warhees, they usually take Jason Warhees in, in uh, Friday the 13th. They usually take place in the woods, in the dark woods at night, and teenagers are alone together without parents, without adults. And what happens? They drink, they misbehave, they have sex. So they lose their innocence. And this is also what is uh, correlated to the murder who comes and kills them because now they are definitely dead as a child, as a innocent. In uh, the Friday the 13th series, series, Jason was a deformed, handicapped kid as a child and he drowned uh, in Crystal Lake at, at a camp, at a summer camp for children where the, the camp leaders are teenagers and those teenagers didn't watch Jason, little Jason Warhees so he drowned and what were they doing while he drowned? He, they were having sex and the first killer, this is a spoiler, this is a spoiler in the first Friday the 13th the mother of Jason Warhees is the killer it's only in the Friday the 13th part 2 that uh, Jason Warhees comes best back from the dead at this uh, disfigured monster who goes around killing people but in the original one the mother was running around killing teenagers as a revenge for her, her child who died because they weren't paying attention, they were misbehaving the Saw movies, those are one of the, the, the present day uh, slasher movies, seven they made of them. 
and in Saw we have the murderer Jigsaw and he's not even really a murderer as he says and he, he makes entrapments, devices which uh, the test subjects that are in these devices they actually kill themselves by not following the rules they misbehave in some way or another and Jigsaw's entrapment kills them and he, he's even so overly moral in this slasher movie that he's not really a killing him, killer himself. Here's a clip from uh, the Saw movies. Let's take a look. I'm the man you call Jake Saw. But unlike you, I've never killed anyone. I give people a chance. Killing is distasteful! To me. Freddy and the Jason movies are they is it irony is it irony that this uh, killer is uh, the murderer is uh, Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger are they good Christians or is it and, and, and it's what that they make fun of that they kind of uh, uh, show the, the absurdity of this uh, uh, Christian Puritan view is that what they show in these slasher movies to to kind of uh, expose and uh, ridicule. <laughs> There's always a point in every horror movie when the most disgusting guy that everybody hates and think ah this guy he really deserves to to die and when he dies he's like no 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 please no and everybody's kind of rejoicing that. Now he gets his time. He gets killed by the monster of the movies, the alien of the movie or the slasher killer. And that's sort of a moral, uh, uh, absurd fantasy in our culture that we watch these movies and we rejoice that a very, very bad person gets killed. And it comes back to the idea of uh, of uh, the what's it called the, the big penalty the capital penalty that that uh, that a criminal he can get uh, killed he can get electrocuted or gassed or injected with the poison and that's a kind of a moral fantasy that the, the bad guy dies and that's also what comes across in these horror movies you get to see the bad guys die hopefully now and in the future when you watch slasher movies you think about them differently now and understand that this is a moral uh, fantasy of some sort and you have to ask yourself do you agree, agree with these Puritan Christian ideals that comes across from the murderer I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you hopefully if you survive out there. I'll see you in the next video.